This is the future. This is the future. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and if you hear a very loud cricket screaming the boss that is inside the office somewhere in the corner I can't get to him and he's making a hell of a noise so it's unfortunately I cannot get him I don't know where he is I just know he's somewhere there in the corner but anyway so today um, I decided to bake a tart for my wife because it was her birthday yesterday it was the first time that I used this recipe it is called a caramel peppermint crisp tart so come check and see what it looks like hi guys Cripzone here do you suffer from pain? do you suffer from inflammation? do you suffer from sleeplessness? Or stress I use essential oils almost daily medication does work pain medication and anti-inflammatories does help me but in the long run medication is not good for you essential oils is 100% pure and it is 100% all natural this product really works for me they also sell a variety of different oils for a variety of different conditions as well as bath salts the benefits of these bath salts can be seen above. If you want some relief in your life, I will leave a link in the description down in the video below. Go check it out. Don't delay. Contact Essential Oils. Use the code CRYPT1 and get your bath salts or essential oils today. Okay, so we start off with the ingredients. And if you were wondering why the recording is suddenly so quiet, it's because I sprayed doom in that little bastard's corner and it seems to quiet him down so yay for me anyway we start off with a first one can of 380 gram caramel condensed milk one bottle of 250 ml cream one 200 gram packet of tennis biscuits 50 ml of 100% lemon juice and finally 250 gram peppermint crisp chocolates okay guys next up will be the method it is actually an extremely easy recipe this is meant for anyone who has not baked a lot before in their lives or um, is not used to baking so the first thing that we need is the balls obviously in which you're gonna mix so I was just uh, checking the ingredients now we've got the cream here and you know, together so on your first bowl you're gonna throw your cream once you have poured your cream into the mixing bowl, mix it until it is nice and stiff. I will show you the consistency now. Next up, take another bowl and use your uh, can of condensed milk, your caramel condensed milk. Scoop the whole thing into the mixing bowl and then we are going to add 50 ml of lemon juice to the mix and mix it properly. that's what it looks like once it's mixed nice and creamy you might want to get a second packet of cookies the bowl that you're going to use it should measure about 20 centimeters broad 30 centimeters long and 5 centimeters deep and you take your biscuits first and you just pack the biscuits on the bottom then take your filling and then just scoop it all over the bottom spread it all around until it's evenly spread over the biscuits 
Next up, take your peppermint crisp chocolate and grate it fine. And take the grated chocolate and then sprinkle it over the filling that you've just spread out evenly. Once that's done, pack your second row of cookies, filling again, and finish off with a topping of grated peppermint crisp chocolate. You will see that um, you should be able to get about two layers done like this. The layers of cookies give this tart a really crunchy chew to it and it's very very delicious. And uh, we're done. So this is what the tart will look like at the end. Now just pop it in the freezer and uh, take it out when it's done. And remember to clean your kitchen when you're done while the tart is in the freezer. I would recommend leaving the tart in the fridge for about 6 hours. Um, this photo was taken about 2 hours after I made it and um, it wasn't quite set yet so that's why the fo last photo doesn't look all that good. But it is really tasty. If you like this video then hit the subscribe button to join the Cripsonian family. Also, hit the bell icon so that you can get notified of any of my further uploads. Give me a thumbs up, it will really help out this channel. You can also go and visit my website at www.cripsonian.co.za where you will find hyperlinks on all the pages except for the main page. The main page will show you exactly what the channel is about. Then if you're interested to see what's happening on the podcast page, you can go to podcast. On the Cripsonian live page, you should find out the time slots of my next live stream and what we have planned for the evening. And then on the Cribzone YouTube channel page, you can go and um, subscribe directly to the channel, see what videos have already been posted, and see what new projects I'm working on. Also, you can go to contact, and you can email me if you have any questions. So thanks very much for your support, guys. Until next time, cheers.